Welcome to the Mischief. I'm Valen, and this is Mystical Skies. I uh, kind of decided I was going to work on a different mod pack. I originally was not planning on using a, uh, a sky block style, but I don't know. This one just kind of called to me, and it helps that the patrons wanted to play it too. So therefore, this is what we're going to go for today. And we're, I'm going to play through this until either... I get tired of it, or the pack gets tired of me. Same as usual, so we shall see how far we get. First, we've got a lot of stuff going on here with Hearthwell, as well as some Thalmcraft setup, which is really cool. I like the, the fact that we've got some Nitor around here. You start off with a nice little hungry chest, which if you're not familiar with those, you can throw things on top of it and it just eats it, which is really cool. <laughs> and we've got a bunch of other stuff. I've got some potato skins, Nidor, Magic Pouch, my Book of the Well, which is the Hearthwell uh, explanation book if you need it, uh, plus the quest book, which has a ton of options and tabs to work through. Now, of course, first thing I'm going to do is jump off the uh, edge of the map and die. So let's find out what happens. Eww. Hey, there's, there's light underneath there. Okay. All right, so this is in here. I can land on this. Okay, there we go. I got... I got a heart and a half. Two hearts. All right, it's back. So there is forgiving void, at least in this dimension, which is good to know. And now I have a reason for those potato skins to be in the inventory. So <laughs> Therefore, if I would have died, you know, no, no big losses right there. So, oh, that's interesting. Bobbles changes it back to this. Everything has kind of been reskinned a bit. Um, also, I like that we've got metal chests in here, which is really nice. Um, Hearthwell just adds a nice look to it as well. And I think we've got Ore Excavator in here, so let me hold down the button and uh, actually here, let me hit V. No, that doesn't do anything. What if I do this? Oh, it works. Yep, I got Mysterious Dust. <laughs> and this stuff here, the Mysterious Grass, will regrow uh, the, um, the, the little bush, Mysterious Bush. There we go. Uh, over time, which is really neat. I like that. So uh, I can also make my own light sources with the nitor. This is not the explosive stuff. That that's a different that's a different kind of stuff altogether. This is just going to allow me to light up an area. And in the ma magic pouch, what do I got in the magic pouch? I've got a whole bunch of arcane stone building blocks. That is absolutely beautiful. We just have a little bit more of these potato skins. Which looks like they got like some kind of chives going on there. That's pretty cool. A little bit of bacon, maybe. I don't know. Um, but let's open up the magic pouch, grab out some magic arcane stones, and ooh, I see a tinker island over there. So that, that means that there's tinkers, at the very least. Um, I kind of like having those islands there, so maybe I build out over here. And there is block craftery is in here, so that means that I can build some pretty stuff. So my plan here is to try and build things as I go. First thing I'm going to want to do is, of course, build out a platform so that everything kills me. I know that there's a quest book, and I should probably follow that straight away. But you know what? I would like to have another working area that is close by that isn't going to be on top of this tree. <laughs> I w so if I have something I want to experiment with or try, it is there, and I can do so. So I'm kind of thinking I try and repeat the same platform, but I just do it over here. So how far is this platform? It is one, two, three, four, five blocks in the center, six, seven, eight... Oh, 9, 10. Oh, that is interesting. So there's actually two, like one extra block over here for these ones just because that's where the chest is. But, oh, and I should probably put down some Nitor just so that things don't spawn over here. Is F7 a thing? I don't know. I just hit it, but I think there's enough light that I wouldn't see it even if it was. So if I start this going around here, then I can potentially build this out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build this platform and uh, then at least a basic area to start with. And I'll be right back. All right, and I'm back. I've got a very simple, plain, alternate area here. And I still don't know if... I don't think that I'm causing enough light over here. But for now, I'm still going to put one there. I don't want things to spawn <laughs> when, I'm, when I'm not looking. And I still have no idea if uh, F7 reveals anything. But let's open up this book, the quest book, and see where we can begin the crafting table. Which... Oh, this uses FTB Rewards program. Uh, choice reward. Oh, nice. Um, to get started, chop down the tree and craft a crafting table. Well, I'm only going to affect what I need to affect to start with, which means I'm only going to break a couple blocks. I don't want to ruin everything just yet. Okay, there's oh, fertile soil from Hearthwell, which if I recall properly, that will actually 
grow um, trees relatively quickly, I think. Something like that. Uh, I keep going in there when I've got the quest book right here. So, crafting table, right? Not a problem. Turn this into four mysterious wood planks. Turn it into a purple crafting table. And quest complete. Wow. Oh, and I got the other quest because I already grabbed all the other stuff. Fair enough. So let me grab the quest book here. And I completed this, um, which actually that just goes into... Oh, that's the mod pack guide, which I don't need to do that. Magic pouch. Got it. I get a food crate. Book of the well. I get an Akashic tone. Oh, that's nice. I'll gladly take that. Uh, crafting table, which I get a choice reward of the Bane of Trees, um, which this would be cool if Or Excavator wasn't in here, so I'm not going to bother, especially since that attack is one. <laughs> Bane of Leaves, um, again, I have Or Excavator, so I don't really think I need that to chop down leaves. It does have Silk Touch, though. But then so does this, the Personal Space Enforcer. And that has, I think... Is that like a really big... It's a frying pan, so I'm guessing... Oh, it's got knockback 10. <laughs> it's squeaky, so it does no damage. Width and height, so this is like a massive tree chop. Lumberjack, unbreakable, and soulbound. I have no idea what... Oh, skyblock, lumberjack, unbreakable, and soulbound. I don't know what skyblock or lumberjack does. I'm, But that's interesting. Oh, they're all skyblock. Okay. Well, I'm going to take the personal space uh, one here, and uh, that should be fun. Uh, looking forward to actually using that on some mobs here and there. Um, but I think I also have Food Crate, which gets me 18 mob soups. Oh, plus Mysterious Dust with a random crate. Yes, the rewards are going to be a little bit spammy. You don't have to even use them, but they can be pretty cool. Oh, Builder Crate. Okay, so that's cool. That means that I get building materials, 64 iridescent logs. Excellent. I don't know if they actually generate light, but... That means I've at least got a wood source as well, so that is excellent. Um, I'm going to open up my magic pouch, put the rest of this arcane stone away. And in fact, I'm going to take the iridescent logs and put them in there too. Actually, yeah. And if I'm not mistaken, the magic pouch yeah, also acts like a magnet, So, which I think is an excellent idea for something to start with on a skyblock. <laughs> you don't want things to go away, you, so you want this in your inventory in case things fall off the edge or are about to. Um, but that mob soup is pretty good stuff, but I think I'm going to put that in there for now. And we're going to open up the Akashic Tome. Yep, there's no books in it, so then I can put the Book of the Well in there, as well as the quest book. And then if I need to, I can choose one of the other. There we go, perfect. And then I can move on to Wood Essence. Can be turned into saplings and wood. Hmm, it doesn't really tell you. Oh, the mysterious dust obtained by breaking the growth grown mysterious bush purple grass grows on the mysterious grass block. Mysterious bush purple grass will eventually grow back up. Yeah, yep, yep, got it. Graphic material can be turned into saplings of wood. So how do I get wood essence? Let's look that up and see what we can do here. Actually, I'm going to put that on the side. Let's have base soil. That must have been from when the mod pack was being made. Uh, so, recipe for this is... Some mysterious... Oh, just any wood planks and mysterious dust. Gets me eight. Which is great. I like this. Because I just got a bunch of iridescent wood planks. <laughs> so let's take some of these. I'm actually going to make uh, a bunch of them if I can. I'm so used to playing the DDSS pack. When you put these in your inventory, you only get like two instead of four. Oh, that was so hurtful. Um, but this is good to have a good amount again. Let's do this. And we'll get... A whole bunch of wood essence. A whole stack, in fact, which is perfect. Now, uh, what else do I have on here? This gets me a random crate. Either food, cosmetic, builder, or common. Hopefully I get the builder ones. I kind of like those ones. Or the cosmetic. Those are kind of cool to have, I guess. So, next. Craft from wood, from wood essence. We've got saplings. Okay. So if I hit U to find out what I can make for, with this. Oh, you can make different woods. So it's like a perpetual thing. You can make saplings, but any of the... Oh, there we go. Regular sapling gets you an oak, or regular wood essence gets you an oak sapling. Okay, which I think is the only thing that I can make right now. So let's do that. We'll just do one. Gets me one oak sapling. Cool. All right, that completes this, and I get a random crate. Then we get a wooden crook. 
Uh, this is actually a little bit alloy, annoying that it overrides what you're trying to read, but crooks greatly increase sapling drops and breaking leaves. Can also be used to pull back mobs. Oh, that's interesting. Pull back mobs. So you can, like, hook onto them? Hmm. By hook or by crook? Well, I guess that's a thing. So let's see how to make a crook. A wooden crook is just a bunch of sticks. Fair enough. Uh, and I still have my iridescent logs, and I'm still going to go with using those, because why not? I realize that they are a quest reward, but I never put down my, my crafting table, so let's do that now. And I can make... There we go, a wooden crook, and obtain that quest reward as well. Uh, random crate, which that one was food, cosmetic, builder, common. Oh, and the different percentages. Interesting. All right, well, let's see. Fertile soil, which is what we've got in the middle here. Green block in the center of your island is a mystical block that speeds the growth of any sapling. You can pick up fertilized soil without the need of a silk touch pickaxe. Oh, so it's just teaching you that you can pick this up without any kind of uh, fault. I'm guessing that's, wait, what is it called? Fertile soil. Let's look it up. I'm curious of the recipe for that. Yeah, I don't have that yet. Fertilizer blocks, grass blocks, and such. Okay, so it just wants me to pick up the block, which is fine. And because I've got the magnet, it came right to me, thankfully. <laughs> and I complete the quest. I've got all these crates here. Actually, I've got two builder crates. Oh, nice. Let's see, 64 more iridescent logs and a wooden chisel. Oh, oh, I wasn't expecting that. What's the recipe for making a wooden... Oh, you only get them in loot crates? Oh, so what's the durability on that? I'm curious. If I hit uh, F3, oh, what was it, uh, H, advanced tooltips, I can see that once it's been used once, what the uh, durability is. So let's... Let's actually place the click and use it if I so desire. We can change iridescent logs? No. How about iridescent planks? No. Mysterious wood? No. Okay, so it's not going to let me change a bunch of the materials that I currently have, except maybe, maybe it'll work with the arcane ones. And these iridescent logs are light gray and those ones are gray. Oh, I didn't even notice that. What about the white ones? No. Doesn't want those either. And uh, then the last set was the arcane stone. Nope. All right, so I've got a chisel that I can't quite use yet. Uh, I'm sure I could if I used uh, regular oak, but that is okay. It's a tool that I will not be using at the moment unless I need saplings. I don't know if these leaves drop saplings. We'll find out shortly here once I've, I don't know, put some of this stuff away. Let me uh, put some of these pieces of wood in here. In fact, I'm just going to put it all in there except for the crate. Drop that tool as well. And we're going to use this crate to get... Oh, a Paxel. That's actually pretty useful. <laughs> that means I've got all the tools that I need at the beginning. Neat. So I can automatically start harvesting uh, misplaced arcane stones. Nice. <laughs> and I don't need to worry about it. Okay, so next is the quest book. Let's continue on here. We've got... Fertile soil, give me the food crate. I have a cherry cheesecake. Is that one that I can place? I think it might be. Um, I don't have a place to set it down yet. So again, I'll place it there. I think I'm going to get a whole lot of food at the start, which may or may not be very useful. I don't know. But I did get that. So we're on to the next one, which is, oh, just a bunch of the mysterious leaves and wooden shears. Well, wooden shears are, implies some wood, and usually that's just a couple of these, or not. Okay, shears. Let's see, wooden ones. Oh, they're sticks. I can do that too. Okay, stick and a stick. Wow, that is, that is the cheapest set of wooden shears I've ever seen, and the most funky looking recipe for that. But I did get it, and then the next one is to get mysterious leaves. Okay, well, let's get some of these and see. Ooh, that that actually chomped those pretty darn quick. Can I get up here? There we go. Oh, I've got some more up here too. And that was it. <laughs> those are done. All right. Well, I got nine mysterious leaves. And what can I do with these? I don't know yet. But 
I should be able to at least grab the random crate, which in this case, same thing, same percentages, nothing really fancy there. We're kind of chunking through the first uh, chapter so far. Oh, wow. There's a lot of interesting things to go, though. Mystic machines. What? Botany. Of course, there's your Batania stuff. Tinkers. Oh, even uh, Constructs Armory is in here as well. Simple storage. Mystical crops. That, I like the organization of it all. It looks nice and, and clean and compact. Oh, nice. Nature magic. Ender I.O., the Midnight, Astral Sorcery, yep, Refined Storage, Eldritch Potato. <laughs> I don't even know what that's about, but I'm very curious. The End. Excellent. All right, so back to the beginning. Sorry, a little distracted with just looking to see what's ahead. Nature Essence can be turned into saplings and plants. Okay, how do I get Nature Essence? And I have a feeling that I'm going to need to, aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so the dust and the leaves. Fair enough. Or a seed reprocessor. Hmm. Okay. Well, I don't have the dust on me. Did I put it in the chest? Yes, I did. So I can make... Let's put this on the side as well. Some of these. That's eight. I don't even know how many of these I'm going to need. Let's make two sets of those. I don't want to use up too much because I do have a limited supply of the leaves at the moment. I don't know how to make more. So there we go, random crate. And now let's look at got plants, Inferium Essence, Fertilize Essence, more plants. <laughs> All right, we'll do the side shoots and then our, work our way down. Inferium Essence is just basically make Inferium Essence. I like that it's just one ofs. Uh, there isn't like you need to make a stack of this or 200 of that or fetch me five bear pelts or something. It's just make one so that you know how to make it. Where is the essence? There it is. Oh, okay. So nature essence of mysterious dust. That's not a problem at all. Okay. And do we have more of this growing? Yes, we do. I feel I should grab this. You can see the stuff like coming towards me because of that uh, little magic bag in my in my pouch. That's pretty cool. And I think that these would probably grow better if I didn't have the tree here. But mm -hmm. like I said, I'm worried that I might not have the materials to make another one yet because I don't think that there's a mysterious sapling. I think it. I think it's a, a sapling turned into. A mysterious tree or something but anyway moving on we've got this random crate fertilized essence again that's just make fertilized essence okay which uh, where is fertilized essence there it is okay that's not bad either actually i'm gonna put that on the side as well and i think i've got this one what was the last one it was making inferium uh, which I think I need to put this on the side too, just in case, because you never know. All right, so that one's done, and I get the crate plants. What's the task on that? I can't read it because the reward collection. There, it can be crafted from nature essence. Oh, okay, sugar cane, wheat, potatoes, any of these items. Okay, sugar canes, wheat, potato, or carrots. Okay, sugar cane. Recipe for that is a bunch of nature essence. How about wheat? Uh, is a little bit of nature essence. Okay. Uh, potato. Oops. Is same quantity. Uh, or was it carrots? Recipe for those. Same quantity again. So. Sugarcane is the most difficult, but I also don't have a way of growing it because we don't have any water. As I can make more in the future, I'm thinking at this point I just do, uh, what, like this, was it? Or was it this? Oh, shoot, I can't remember. Is, was it even Nature Essence? It's got ten different recipes. There's the sugar cane. The wheat was at the top. Okay. Potatoes. All right, I was close. I was close. Oh, I even had apples there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there's potatoes. That completes that quest. Get a random crate, and then we get more plants, cactus, pumpkin, melon, etc. Okay, so let's go with... Um, shoot, I can't even plant a cactus, but I can use them. Hmm. Let's go with cactus, just because I like those. Um, a lot of people already are familiar with that. We're going to do that, 
I now have 16 cactus from that. That's actually, a, I don't think I need to grow them anymore because I could just make them at this rate. So random crate, mutation paste. Once we do this one, then I will open up a bunch of the crates and see what we get. Uh, but for now, let's see how to make mutation paste. Oops, if I can spell it right. Mutation paste is, oh, that fertilized essence and the mysterious dust. I'm going to actually put that on the side as well to save that for the future. There we go. And what is the use for this? Does it even set quests? What? You can actually <laughs> use mutation paste to get reward crates? Interesting. Huh. So I guess I could just feasibly make a whole bunch of those crates. I can get the seeds and stuff. It's a transmutation. Okay. Very interesting mechanic. And it doesn't actually say the mystic item can be used to mutate some items into others. Excellent. Well, grab that. Then stone dust. Crafted from, mysteri oops, crafted from mysterious dust and mutation paste. Well, actually, before I go any further, let's open up some of these crates I've got. I've got food crates, which there's nine pistachios, baked salmon, 12 blazing soups. Again, I think I'm going to need a chest for food. <laughs> oh, brother. Um... But I don't have any wood to make anything with yet. So I guess this is a good reason why I probably... Oh, yes, I do. I've got these iridescent logs. So let's look at the chest selection. Is there Actually, first, is there crates? There are no actually additions crates. All right, so chest. This is your regular oak chest? Oh, the, that looks so pretty. Okay. So then, hmm... I guess a regular oak chest would work. I'm just thinking about sorting my inventory straight away. Are there drawers? There are drawers. So I could feasibly just go with some of these. Assuming that um, it accepts things more than just oak wood. It doesn't seem to want to accept any iridescence. Ooh, that could be a sticking point. All right, well... I'm going to leave it for the moment. It's My inventory is getting too crazy. Let's just continue on with Common Crate. Six mystical lime petals. Oh, okay. Neat. I got some Batania starting stuff. That's excellent. Um, cosmetic crates. Now we're talking. I get thick eyebrows. Milk box crafting table. A wicked eye patch. And alien antennas. This is where it gets interesting, my friends. First, I must have the alien antenna so that I can look like a Moogle. That's perfect. All right. And then we've got a mailbox crafting table. We can put this over in this area for now. <laughs> That's just silly, but I like it. Then uh, we might even be able to use that to burn things with a wicked eye patch. All right. So let's try putting that. That looks more like I've got something that's swollen part, like a cotton swab on my face. That is terrible. Um, how about eyebrows? Oh, I look so angry. <laughs> I'm the angriest Moogle. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, we'll keep those up for now. Um, <laughs> because why not? And I'll save the eye patch for the future. Who knows what we'll end up using that for. I, I have no idea, really. Uh, so let's get back to the book. Okay, stone dust. Crafted from mysterious dust and mutation paste. All right, stone dust i think is also something i'm going to need to know how to make so i'm going to put that on the sidebar recipe for that make some of those and there we go i now have eight stone dust complete the quest i think this is i know it, it seems to be really basic but it's like walking you through how to make things how do you make this and then later on down the road you're going to need to be able to make a whole bunch of these in order to make something else so you might have to go through a little bit of a process and you've got your little instruction manual on how to get there so I like this. This is this is good. Dirt essence. Okay. So dirt essence. Uh, once again, putting that on the side. Oh, that requires a bunch of mysterious leaves. Hmm. All right. So at this point, I think I'm going to sneak right click. No, the book. I need to left click to change it to a Kajic tome. Right click to do this. Book of the well. If I click in here. Uh, introduction, key mechanics, other machines, machines, multiple machines, entry index. I'm looking for how to make a mysterious tree. I can't remember how to do one of those. I uh, What item is used? I think it's the um, 
Where is it? The mutation paste. In fact, let, I could just try that straight up. Let's do that. Uh, so I'm going to chop down this. Mm, maybe I use some shears to get the rest of this stuff first. Grab this, and then I can just or excavate that side. Oh boy, that just broke in no time. Uh, absolutely no time. Let me grab a couple more pieces here, and then I can make some more wood, make some more sticks, and make some more uh, these. A couple of those. There we go. And then I can grab that and some of these. There we go. That should be all of them. And thanks to my magnet, everything went into my inventory. Beautiful. Chop that up. And then I plant down a sapling. But I think I also need some mutation paste in my hand. So Because otherwise it might grow very quickly. No? Is it not the mutation paste? I don't think it's the mutation paste. Because I'm clicking on it. It's not doing it. Is it mysterious dust? Nope. Not the mysterious dust either. I can't remember what it is. We'll find out. All right, so, <clears throat> excuse me, back to the quest book. We have uh, stone essence, dirt essence. What was it for dirt essence? I have 30 mysterious leaves now, so I could make some. Hmm, that uses some of it. I could use any leaves. I don't have to use my mysterious leaves. So I could take a bit of the nature essence no that's not going to work in that inventory it was, was it nature essence no it wasn't it was the other essence that i put away wood essence that gave me a sapling so i could do one of these put that down and it will eventually grow in the meantime i'm going to grab some of it yeah there we go see it doesn't take very long this is really good stuff um, but now I can chop down this stuff. I can get oh, these leaves. They look so weird. Um, I can get some of these and make myself. Can I just make? Yes, I can. Multiple wooden shears and get a bunch of leaves. Excellent. All right. And I also got more saplings. So that works too. Cool. Now. I should be able to use these instead with some of that stone dust. And I don't need to use up the limited supply of mysterious leaves, but I still don't know how to replenish. But that gets me dirt essence, which can be used to make dirt, grass blocks, which I think grass blocks was the next thing. I think it was. Let's take a look at the book. It is. Make a grass block. Oh, and you get a random chance that has chance cubes in here. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's a bad thing. All right, well, <laughs> let's see about using that to make grass blocks. 12 grass blocks, done. Okay, and the mysterious grass. All right, you simply right-click a grass block with mysterious dust. Mutation paste, mysterious dust. Oh, okay. Well, that's pretty neat. So feasibly, I could like widen this out a bit and get more of the mysterious dust. In a run. Uh, for example, I could grab some of these, put down the grass, and expand this. Uh, total of what? Let's just do a little bit here. And I'm, I'm even going to take out this crafting table. And then we can get more of this dust at a time by putting down a bunch of these grass blocks, which I have 12 of, so this will be perfect. Oh, it's so bright. Wow, it's so bright. I, I like the colors in this mod pack. <laughs> All right, so it's a one-to-one -one ratio. Fair enough. And this will allow me to color everything over. Neat. Okay, so next on the list. Uh, let me actually grab this, grab that, and this can also be, go can also be crafted with dirt and mysterious dust. Oh, <laughs> whoops. Um, come here, milk crate. I, I need you. Dirt and mysterious dust. Okay, so grass block. Recipe is... No, no, it wasn't that. It was mysterious grass. Oh, but I need dirt. Which is made like that. Okay, so I just need more of the dirt essence, which isn't too bad. I have that. And then I can make dirt like this. And then I can make mysterious grass that way. Cool. 
All right, so I've got it. Not that I really need to place it down right now, but I've got it, as well as a whole lot of dirt. <laughs> so let's grab the random crate reward for that. Mysterious fertilizer. Oh, maybe this is the stuff. Doesn't consume item. All right, so mysterious fertilizer. I think that might be it. When used on any sapling, a mysterious tree grows. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. All right, so I'm going to once again use the uh, milk crate to see if I can make this. Yes. Excellent. That's what I was looking for. And I've got a bunch of stuff in my inventory already, but we're going to try doing it. Hey, there we go. We now have a replenishable way of getting mysterious leaves. I don't feel so bad about it now. All right, I've got some more crates. Cosmetic four-leaf clover. Viva crafting table. <laughs> That actually looks like it might fit the theme a bit. Let's try putting that here. Okay, maybe it's a bit bright. <laughs> maybe a little bit. Um, I'll put the other one on the other side. It, you know what? It, it's fine for now. It's fine. And I got a four-leaf clover, which I'm not sure where that would go. Oh, that goes on the side where my badge is, so that's not going to work. Definitely not going to work. Unacceptable. Food crate. Nine frosted donuts. We're going to throw that in there. And... Comic crate, which gets me three blocks of base essence. Ooh, that looks like a bit of a shortcut to me. I like that. So, um, I don't see too much of stuff that I can get rid of yet. Maybe these, these. I've got a bunch of those. I'm using this wood. I will keep one. I will keep the mysterious wood in there for now, because I don't think that I really need it. And the arcane stone can go in here. All right, let's continue on and see what else I can get here. Uh, I think that was an option to... Oh, wait, botany. I've started botany? Unclaimed rewards. To start this chapter, you first need to complete the mysterious fertilizer quest. Oh, five thankful dinners. Oh, thankful dinners. Those are pretty good. Those are pretty good. See, I, I as much as I want to get into the next one, I think I should continue on with this. But I think at this point... I might want to take a break and pause. Err, I'm really angry about this. No, um, and <laughs> we'll be back with more of the Mystical Skies. Let me know what you guys think of the start of this so far. I mean, I've only been doing it for maybe a half hour, but I'm curious how you guys uh, are, are liking it so far. Block Craftery. You know what I'll do between episodes here is I will um, kind of smooth out the edges here and make it a little bit more like this one where it's got the Block Craftery stuff on the sides. Yeah, I like that. And then I might actually add in a couple side platforms. So I hope you guys have been enjoying. If so, be sure to give me, uh, give me a shout. Let me know. Tell me in the comments below. Grr. Oh, wait. My eyebrows poke through my, my head at certain angles. Anyway, hope you guys have been enjoying. Come check us out on Twitch. Most nights around 10 p.m. We'll see you next time.